Hey there! Welcome to Jeff! Exclamation point. This is episode 5, but part 2. So episode 4 is part 1. Uh, we're going to continue from uh, Epcot, or Epcot Adventure, but a lot more happened. So if you watched the last video, it ended something like this. So this is my favorite time of day here at Epcot. So it only makes sense that we're about to go. But we're going to go someplace else and have some more fun. Now at this point in the day, I was tired and a little inebriated, but I don't apologize for what I did. No, I don't apologize. No apologies. Ball. <laughs> Figment likes balls too. Balls. <laughs> Yay. Oh look, even the flowers are in balls. Balls. And we are under a ball. Balls. I've been under bigger balls. Alright gang, props to Dawn. She remembered where we parked. Because I drove us and I don't remember. I always tweet it, like 345 today, guys. Hold on, you, you tweet? I tweet where I park and one of my friends always rises where I park. Thank you. Park. It's the greatest Thank thing you. on this Huh. Thank you. Asian I never thought to tweet, tweet where I parked, but I'm also not a big tweeter. Wait, did we look back there? No, he's there. I'm there. Balls. All right, so thank you, Don, for finding my car. And we went to the Disney's MGM Studios. Uh, the idea was to go see fireworks, uh, well, the Star Wars fireworks, because I've never seen them. Uh, we got there a little early, and everyone made a beeline to the launch bay, uh, which is a place I've only been to once before, and we decided to see some characters. And this is uh, kind of how it went, uh, through the use of photos. So here we are over at Star Wars Land. And we got, look at that, a little spaceship there. And lo and behold, look at that, we got a little spaceship! Oh, and oh, look at that ball. Well, apparently it's a very dangerous and destructive ball. Oh my gosh, a cute little spacesuit! Alright, so there's Josh actually doing a pose other than the dab. Uh, there I am, with some Star Wars character. Uh, Noe with some Star Wars character. And he actually flirted with me. So after we finished Star Wars Launch Bay, here is the reaction that happened between Don and myself. Don is in tears. Look how happy she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it's so funny. Oh my god. Are you sure? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, now we got some more people in here. What is this? A Jawa? A Jawa? A Jawa? Do you have like a name other than, or is everyone called a Jawa? Everyone's called Jawa? Okay. And if you trade them, they give you little things. Okay. Ooh, tripod. I have another one, so I don't really need that one. Is that good? <laughs> no. Like, do you give out fist bumps for free? No. You don't know? No, no, I do this. Aww. Do you know what a dab is? Oh, God. No. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yes! But it moves. It's almost a droid. It could be a test droid. Dangerous. No, not dangerous. But surely there has to be like droid like Not shiny. Though. I'll bring something shiny next time. <laughs> All right, so you trade things? Shiny yes. Shiny. Oh, because I have like a receipt, a piece of paper. No. It has to be shiny. Shine. That's why it doesn't Needs shiny. to be shiny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> BB-8? You want BB-8? BB-8 shiny. 
but BB-8 is a little expensive. Next time I'm bringing my own drawing back and you can have one because he doesn't right really here. work very well. We can trade The whole bag is shiny. Look at that. Oh, you want the entire bag? Take it. I don't care. There's insulin in here. It's fine. Hang on. I love you, Bye bye. Thank you. All right. So that's it for the uh, Star Wars launch bay. That was a lot of fun. Of course, now we're in the uh, gift shop because everything is in the gift shop. You know what? I am totally amazed that I made it through meeting Chewbacca without making a Harry and the Henderson joke. <laughs> Rick Baker! Yeah. You know, I'm once again not the giant Star Wars fan a lot of people are. But I totally get it. I do. I guess someone's being arrested over here. Yep, the stormtroopers have her. What's up? All right, so we moved locations, and we are just about to watch the Star Wars fireworks. I'm so excited. All right, it's going to start in a couple of minutes, uh, but for you guys, it probably is going to start about right now. We just finished watching the Star Worker, uh, Star Wars fireworks. Uh, Don, what do you think? I love it, but I love Star Wars, obviously. I mean, I cried when I met Chewbacca, so you know, major me. <laughs> and I think I thought it was cute. It's definitely a great fireworks show. Uh, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan, so it doesn't affect me as much as Dawn. The beginning is amazing, like chills and just like, ah, every time. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. But definitely good. And then we watched the new projection show as well, which uh, I showed a couple of clips of. And uh, the best, what do you think about that? Honest opinion? 
I think it's Disney's uh, answer to Cinematic Spectacular and our 100 years of movie making. That's my thing, and I was like, but not as good. Because there's no fireworks, there's no, and it's choppy, because this venue is really hard to project on anyway. So it was kind of choppy. It could have been just the angle we were in, but I thought it was kind of like all over the place. Really yeah, I figured to see that, which uh, I did recommend seeing it, because it was cute. The Tron section was really cool, so was the Guardians of the Galaxy section. But it had no like sequencing. Like all of a sudden, yeah. randomly out of nowhere, you were like, 101 Dalmatians, oh, psych, and here's Herbie. And you're yeah. like, what? Those were not even, that's not, <laughs> they weren't years and years apart, so. Uh, yeah, definitely a little all over the place. Uh, but if you're going to see it, you need to get front and center for that, or as center as possible, because there's really not a good spot to watch that, unless you are in the dead center. Yeah. All right, well, there'll be some more shenanigans, I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, we are leaving the Hollywood Studios. Might do something else? I don't know. We'll find out. He's got a pop socket. What's up? Are hey, you vlogging? Vlogging, totally. Oh, hell, hell, heck yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's really cool to see that. Alright, we are here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So that was kind of a last minute idea. We noticed that Animal Kingdom closed this night at 11 and then they're starting the uh, extra magic hours for resort guests. So we got... Someone's afraid of a bug. Uh, so we have just a few minutes to go check out Pandora. <laughs> It was a dragonfly? It was an adorable little dragonfly. Aww. I apologize. <laughs> uh, so we just got a few minutes to go check out Pandora at night. And it's exciting. I've never seen it. Everyone else has seen it. But uh, here we go. I'm excited. And we're walking through the oasis. Of course we get here just in time for yet another projection show because you know we haven't had our fill of projection shows tonight but this is one I don't have to come back and watch because I've never seen this one so this is pretty exciting we're going to Pandora ooh I see colors up ahead Ooh, look at this, something new I've never done. Crazy, man. So I have been avoiding everything on YouTube about this because I wanted to experience it firsthand. So, lots of black lighting here, which I don't know if the uh, camera will pick up. Nope, I'm oh, sorry. So that's the ground right there. So think about like, glow paint on the ground with black lighting. Oh, Holy cow. Yeah, I've got it. Holy cow. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, so no video is going to do this justice, I will tell you right now. This will be a good idea. But no video will do this justice. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it might. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I have no clue where I am here. It's night. I've never been here in the daytime. But just what I've seen so far is pretty remarkable. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm not sure if you can see it, but that's one of the floating mountains. Part of it was... Oh. 
Holy Remember in Guardians of the Galaxy, the first movie? Yes. When Star-Lord was saying if you put a black light in his spaceship, it would look like a Jackson Pollock painting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> This place is breathtaking. Oh, and there is the waterfall. Holy cow. Oh. Alright, so seeing everything online and photos of the floating mountain, I thought it was the biggest joke. <laughs> uh, wasn't too impressed by what I saw until you stand under it. And then it is very impressive. So, uh, like I said before, there is no photos, uh, YouTube video that will do this justice. You have to come here and actually experience it yourself. Yeah, so this is under the floating mountains right now. To one very impressive waterfall. So we're heading towards like the, uh, I guess the restaurant and the gift shop area. There's a long line of resort guests, I guess trying to get on the ride or order something. There you go, they stopped us to let people go through. Pass over, by order. <laughs> there you go, oh, now we can go through. You order, you order from the, the app. Yeah, your app. It says mobile, um, mobile order pickup. You link your card, and you can just get food. And it's the cool. This is why it's so delicious because it's real fire grill. Cheeseburger puns. It tastes better than McDonald's burgers. All right, this is what I got. Cheeseburger pod. This is the kids' meal. Came with grapes. Bottle of water. The Pandoran sunrise. It's fun to eat at 11 o'clock at night. Mm. All right, here it goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was asking Dawn what these tasted like. She said they taste like a McDonald's cheeseburger. She's absolutely right. Like a McDonald's cheeseburger wrapped in the steam buns. It's really good. All right, let's try the uh, Pandoran Sunrise, which is really cute. Uh, it's my favorite. Yeah. I like the bowls. It's good. Very pineapple. Pineapple-y. Pineapple. -y. pineapple. 
if you like pineapple, you'll love this. All right, so there he is, one massive line. So maybe there's what we thought was to get a drink uh, was actually to get to the gift shop where you're able to buy your own banshee. Yay, so that's fun. So we were having some fun beating on some drums here in Pandora, about to leave, and then all of a sudden, uh, these guys come out, they're going to do a show, but half their equipment's not working. So we'll see if it happens. There you go, it looks like they got the drums working. <laughs> there you can see, thanks to some amazing techs. There you go, look at that, the tree gets put back together. And now, we can uh, see a little show. Thank you. 